I'm very focused on early care and education. Mm -hmm. It's one of the major priorities of our office. And during my tenure here, I've always counted on you as a partner and a, a shared advocate for early care and education expansion. And in fact, I've often heard you referred to as the father of TK. <laughs> um, can you please tell me um, a bit about your leadership sure. in extending transitional kindergarten and some of the history and origin story? Well, thank you. Uh, I, you know, my history on this goes back to, oh gosh, at least a dozen years ago when I was still in the California State Senate. I was in my last term and I was approached by a couple of local teachers from here in Santa Clara County. Uh, one was a reading specialist, one was a kindergarten teacher, and they said, um, we're starting kids too young in kindergarten, and we think that California is one of, I think, just three or four states at the time that still let youngsters start uh, if they hadn't turned five until December. Uh, and these teachers thought we should roll it back to September 1st and say kids should be five when they start. And um, they had a petition signed by 289 other teachers uh, in their district. And I said, well, I, I agree with you, but this is an effort that's been underway for 25 years. Nobody's made much progress, Democrats, Republicans, governors, uh, state legislators, education advocates. And they said, well, we still want you to try. And I said, well, all right, we'll give it a try because I think you're absolutely right. Youngsters should be ready to succeed when they show up uh, for that first day of kindergarten. So what started out as a piece of legislation to simply say, all right, youngsters should be five by September 1st instead of December 2nd, um, got a surprising amount of traction considering the history on it. But then people said, well, wait a minute, what's going to happen to those youngsters who don't mm -hmm. start kindergarten if those young fives are told, wait another year? And of course, we didn't want them just sitting at home, watching TV, not getting any educational benefit. And because we had some savings from changing the date, we reinvested those savings and created something called Transitional Kindergarten, which was literally the first new grade in California, first new grade of school in more than 100 years. There has to be the right kind of training uh, we can't act like anybody with a, you know, certificated credential is ideally equipped to be in that TK classroom. That, you know, you want folks in the classroom who really do have a passion, but also an understanding of what it takes to be successful with kids at that point in their young lives. You, you also, I think, have to make sure that you have a TK curriculum that is specific, again, to that age bracket. and. You know, I'm sure a lot of people think, well, how different could it be, TK to kindergarten? And the answer is different because you talked about the importance of play and that's not just a nice to have, a fun thing. It's a thing that has educational value and importance in and of itself and that gets those TK kids ready to be kindergartners. I think, um, the fact that TK is a demonstrated and dramatic benefit for uh, youngsters that will last through the years is the most important thing for folks to understand. Um, as I say, you know, uh, in the early days of the program, more than a decade ago, people were understandably anxious about this thing that they saw as a new development in California's uh, program of instruction not the case anymore. And as you and I have already discussed, you know, it's not just on the margins. It's a pretty significant impact uh, and an impact that I think, you know, almost every parent will want their youngster uh, to, to benefit from. So um, as I say, it, it, the, the benefits are significant and they are proven. And uh, I think making sure every parent understands that uh, is going to be uh, helpful and important in making sure that more and more youngsters have access.